In this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite flow typing keyboard app, SwiftKey. You know, it really is true that once you get proficient with flow typing on your mobile device, um, going to an iPhone or an iPad is, is literally like stepping in the dark ages, plunking away at one key at a time. Go to the Android Play Store, the Google Play Store, and people purchase the full version of the Swift Key keyboard. I believe it's $1.99. It was when I bought it. You can see the screenshot here. I've got it installed on my phone. It's the one that says Editor's Choice. You can get the free version, but I believe that one will not do predictive typing for you. Um, and you want that. You best predictive typing of any Flow keyboard. I've tried a couple of them, including Swipe, which comes pre-installed on many Android phones. Um, people, Swift Key blows Swipe out of the water, okay? If you've been using Swipe and you just haven't really gotten down with it, do yourself a favor and get into Swift Key. It is just amazing. The ease of typing, it, it's, it's very accurate. Um, again, the predictive um, typing is amazing. It'll, it'll show you often of, of you know the patterns in your word choice um, for selecting what words you use and not always you know not a hundred percent of the time by any means but it's it's pretty darn good and, the, and the, with the more experience you get with it the easier it is to type and it's actually kind of fun um, using the flow typing so go ahead and, and, and drop the two bucks at the Google Play Store and get yourself swift key um, now what you're going to want to do is to make sure that that's set as the default keyboard under your phone's settings from the main screen. Click on language and keyboard and that will show you the keyboards that are available for your phone um, including Android. I'm on a Samsung so I've got a Samsung keypad. Th those really aren't bad. I mean they're, they're good keyboards but what you want to do is you want to select Swift Key. Okay. Now there are some times where you may reboot your phone or your, maybe your phone doesn't update or something like this and Swift Key will be deselected and you'll notice you'll say, well, what happened to my key keyboard? I've, you know, I'm, the Android keyboard is the default or swipe is the default. Just go back in your settings. It, it doesn't happen very often, but just make sure Swift Key is selected people as your default keyboard. Now in the Swift Key settings, you can fine tune your theme and layout. Um, I turn sound and vibration off. I just some people like to hear the little clicks each time they hit a, a key that that would drive me crazy. So I turned all sounds off. Whether you're texting or or browsing the internet in the um, search bar of Google, or writing yourself a memo, you know you will you will get your money's worth out of Swift Key. Probably Swift Key is probably one of my favorite apps. I just I just think it's great. And again, anytime I go to a uh, a mobile uh, Mac device, it's just like you know what? I'm just so happy to be an Android user with for no other reason other than flow typing. I mean, truly, it's it's that incredible. Drop comments below. Would like to hear if if you're using SwiftKey and flow typing. Um, give a thumb up for SwiftKey people, and uh, see you next time, guys and gals.